Well, right now, dozens of residents who were forced out by flames finally got a chance to go back to collect what's left of their home. And tonight, there is a growing demand for accountability among those displaced. And Local 10's Christian De La Rosa live now in Miami Gardens with much more on this one. Christian. Yes, we saw really a handful of residents walk into a handful of units that weren't completely destroyed by this fire. As we stand by for an incident report soon to be released, hopefully with some answers as to who or what is to blame here. My whole life savings. This is the first place that I own when I came home from the Army. Annetta Henderson returns to what she thought would be her forever home. She's one of dozens of residents allowed to return to their now condemned Miami Gardens condos for a few hours Thursday to collect whatever they could. The New World condos ravaged by this fire back in late January. Henderson, like so many others who lived here, are now homeless and have been staying at a shelter since the tragedy. Someone has to be accountable for this. Wednesday, attorneys representing residents announced a class action lawsuit against the condo association, the board of directors, and the property management company. The lawsuit accusing them of negligence. The failure to address a number of fire code violations, the failure to secure proper buyer insurance or adequate insurance for the property, and the failure to maintain a proper fire system. I want people to know that we are people just like you. Imagine one day coming home from work and you don't have anything. The amount of heartbreak just as widespread as the devastation here. As we mentioned, we are standing by for an incident report to be released in the coming days, hopefully with some answers and some accountability for all of these residents. Live in Miami Gardens, I'm Christian De La Rosa, Local 10 News.